Okay, my name is uh, Garrett Pope. I teach in the computer science department. I've been teaching here for six years. So I teach, uh, I teach pen testing courses, video game design. I teach uh, enterprise system security courses and uh, mostly advanced game development courses, things like that. I do a lot of advising for two clubs, eSports and uh, Cybersecurity Club. The Cybersecurity IT Fundamentals course is uh, an introduction to students who want to change to a cybersecurity program. So you kind of introduce them to computers and hardware and networking tools and how to secure those tools. So the IT Fundamentals course is split up into three different parts. Uh, it takes about one semester to complete the whole course. It's uh, generally really helpful for students who are transferring from another major like uh, accounting or criminology or something to learn about computers and get into cybersecurity. Once a student completes this program, they have a certificate. They can expect to get uh, entry level positions into uh, information security and uh, lots of big companies here hire in that field. Let's see, some big trends right now. One of the biggest trends is ransomware. Uh, so ransomware attacks are really common right now. They're really easy to use uh, and they make a lot of money doing it. So a lot of companies are looking for, for people to help secure those systems, but also to make backups and recover after an incident. There's a lot of phishing, so it's a lot of companies hire for phishing campaigns. So that means uh, they'd go into a company as a student here with a certificate. You can go in, you can start a phishing campaign on your own company. You see who falls for it and that, that uh, opens the door for training for employees. It also tells the company uh, where the weaknesses are and uh, how they can improve in the future. So one of the uh, biggest obstacles I think that students have when entering the career force is they see a problem and they don't know what the problem is and they don't know how to figure out how to solve the problem. So when you take one of these certificate courses, you learn, you learn how to ask the right questions. You, you learn how, to, uh, how the equipment works and uh, where the problem might lie and how to find the answers to fix those problems. That's, that's probably one of the biggest takeaways. So when you come out of here, you don't have to memorize everything or know anything. You have to know how to solve the problem. And that's really what we focus on. Some of the soft skills that are important is uh, the backbone of any, uh, any security at any company is the information security policies. And those policies are implemented through training, training employees, talking to people, understanding where their weaknesses are. So those are some really important skills that are, that are useful in helping to implement a security policy. Usually when, uh, when you go to a company, the policy will say acceptable use is not to use social media and things, but it's getting really hard these days to enforce that, right? You'd have to catch an employee or something doing that sort of thing. So social media is becoming quite a problem actually inside companies, right? So you don't want them to share any, uh, any uh, information, that proprietary information or anything they want to lose. So I would say uh, it's on the other end though, they want to have social media campaigns to improve their business, right? And for marketing. So sometimes they'll, uh, they'll have a review process where they, where they use social media, but they'll review it and uh, make sure that they can implement new policies to, uh, to match the new technology that's coming out on social media. You know, what I, what I find is that one of the biggest blocks for a student is that they're just too scared to try, right? They think it's too overwhelming and they don't want to do it. So they just don't even try at all. But I think one of the best things to do is to go out there and try, make mistakes. And with like one of these certificate programs, you're allowed to log into a computer and break it and do whatever you want, right? And fix it. And that's how you learn. So I think one of the biggest takeaways is, is, is don't be scared to try something, you know, go in there, break it. You can always fix it, right? And come back and it just makes you learn more at the end.